Hello, hi, and good morning, Melbourne. Please welcome your hosts, Harrison Ewardart and Matilda Byram. Oh, hello, hi, and good morning, Melbourne. And welcome to Hello, Hi, and Good Morning. I'm Harrison Hewitt Dart. And I'm Matilda Byram. <laughs> what a morning we have today. We're welcoming a new member to our promotional team, and Ella, like usual, will bring us our weather update. We'll have a look into the world of sports with Cody, and also an exclusive first interview with Mr. Dibra, the Albanian Minister of Exports. <laughs> Trouble keeping your finances in check? Well, come along to the Finance Corner to get your economy back on track. <laughs> Garrison is going to be out in the field checking in with a next generation sports star, and I will get out of my comfort zone fighting in a fantasy battlefield. <laughs> but before we get to any of that, this is... News Flash! Scare and Square. The first recorded case of square eyes has been documented right here in Victoria. Yes, that's right. Our parents were right. With many more cases to have predicted to emerge, the intensive square unit has been set up in hopes of fighting the disease. So make sure you're stocked up on the sanitizer and at least six feet away from any nearby televisions. Emergency. A heartwarming story coming out of Adelaide this morning. A man was seen saving a cat from a tree, but when he got stuck himself, it was the cat's turn to do the saving. Tinkles, the American wire hair, managed to hoist the man onto her back and carry him down to safety. Both are expected to make a full recovery. A quick one's a good one. A 30-year-old woman in Sydney this week went through an incredible 10-minute labour, the shortest labour to record in the last five years. In an interview with Hello, Hi and Good Morning, she stated that she sneezed and heard something hit the floor. I hope she was at least standing on a carpeted floor. Utter chaos. Cows across the nation are going on strike as the Australian bovine population rapidly lose their jobs due to plummeting milk prices and nut milks taking over the industry. A cow at the picker line has been quoted as saying, damn scabs taking our jobs, it's driving us nuts. <laughs> These workers certainly aren't amused. Haven't done it at all. A Brighton resident has recently discovered that there's other suburbs in Melbourne. She began taking her daily routes through surrounding areas in Hampton, Bentley and Gardenvale. Who knows what else she'll discover up next. Now to the segment that keeps our lights on. <laughs> Please welcome Sam the Salesman. <laughs> Sam, it might be a bit more comfortable over the, the red chair over there. <laughs> Do you want to just scooch on over? Take it. Of course. Mate, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> ah, thank you, Harrison, and good morning, Melbourne. I'm Sam Salmon, as you may know me from my beloved TV show, Selling with Sam. Well, I've been demoted, but that means that I get to spend this day in the studio with these two lovely people, and with you too, Melbourne. Boy, we've got some goodies for you today. Whoa! Hello, salesman Sam. Hello, people at home. I'm Poppy, the promotional puppet, the new star of Hello, Hi, and Good Morning. <laughs> boy, you oh boy, do we have a promotion for you. You can get 5% off your first order of Away Age Cream. And now for the low, low price of $59.95, how can you say no? Woo! Thanks for that, Poppy. Some side effects include sudden hair loss, skin irritation, and in some rare cases, no effects at all. But just look at the results. How can you say no? If you text HHGM to 2590 right away, you will receive 5% off your first you purchase. Heard him. Text HHGM to 2590. That's HHGM to 2590 for 5% off your first order of Away Age Cream. What else do you have for us today, Poppy? Ooh, ooh, I've, I've got a joke for the people at home. Why don't monkeys play cards in the jungle? Well, I don't know, Poppy. How come? <laughs> there are too many cheetahs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for that, Poppy. Now, let's keep it we moving along. We play the monkeys work out. The jungle gym! <laughs> <laughs> oh, if if a monkey great, has ribbon thanks. on his <laughs> one hand... Thanks, Poppy. Thank you. Thanks, Poppy. Thanks, Poppy. 
Thanks for that, Sam Selman. And hello, hi, and good morning to Poppy, the promotional puppet. <laughs> what a, a lovely new idea that the producers had, bringing her on the show. Definitely try out Away Age Cream. I have never felt so good. And 5% off? How could you say no? Now, I wonder what kind of weather we're going to have today. Well, no need to search it up because we're going to cross live to our wonderful weather reporter out in the field, Ella. How's the weather out there? Well, I'm in the CBD today, the heart of Melbourne, at the front of St Paul's Cathedral, and we have the most wonderful view of the Flinders Street station clocks. Now let's get a sneak peek at today's forecast. In the western suburbs, we are going to see a low of 12 with only a high of 17. We move to the south suburbs and there will be thunderstorms with a low of 9, but it will reach 23 today. We're going to the southeast suburbs and we are going to have a high of 32. So watch out, Frankston, you're going to be the hottest city with 33. Now, Ge Ge Geelong? Geelong. Well, back to you in the studio. Well, thank you, Ella, for keeping up with the Melbourne weather so we don't have to. <laughs> Can be a tricky task, I know. It looks like we're going to have another wonderful day here in the great, great city of Melbourne. So make sure to get outside and soak it up while you can. <laughs> Let's hand it over to our hunk of a sportscaster, Cody at the sports desk. Hi, Cody. Thanks, Molly. Well, it's been a big week in sports. Australian athletes have been playing sports left, right and centre this week. Let's take a moment to look at some betting statistics from our friends down at Better Betting. Better Betting, the better way to bet better. Well, looking at regional basketball, the Southwest Rags are at $1.10 to win against the Northwest Syringes, who stand at $4.50 to win, and I like those odds. Well, in footy, the Echidnas are favoured to win with 60 cents to their name, while their opponents, the Spangled Drongos, are sitting at $27 to win, and I like those odds. Well, in golfing, 23-year-old prodigy Win One has a trifecta on him and the odds are sitting at $2.90 for him to get the ball in the hole. I like those odds. Well, that's all for our betting statistics. Thanks to our friends at Better Betting. Better Betting, changing the game. Gamble responsibly, please. Well, after winning the qualifying match to earn a spot in the Metropolitan Basketball League, I managed to snag an interview with the captain of the South West Rags to get all the juicy deets. Here's that. Oh, you know, we went out there today and uh, gave it our best and uh, honestly, couldn't have asked for a better result. Uh, you know, we went out there and played our hearts out and uh, honestly, it was just really nice to, uh, to see the boys uh, out there making space and handing the ball around and communicating really effectively. Uh, just couldn't have asked for a better result. Thanks for that, mate. I'll let you go. Yeah, cheers, mate. And earlier this week, I met with the captain of the Eastern Sydney Oysters to catch a quick post-match interview with the captain. Here's how that went. Oh, uh, you know, we went out there and gave it our best and honestly, couldn't have asked for a better result. Uh, you know, we, we went out there, played our hearts out and it was just really nice to see the boys making space and handing the ball around and communicating effectively. Just overall couldn't be happier with today. Well, thanks for that, mate. I'll let you go. Yeah, cheers, mate. On your skipper, and I managed to pin down win one for a quick gab. Here's that. Oh, look, honestly, you know, we went out there, gave it our best, and couldn't have asked for a better result. You know, we, we went out there, played our hearts out, and honestly, it was just really good to see the boys making space and handing the ball around and communicating really effectively. You know, couldn't be happier with today. Oh, well, thank you. I'll let you go, man. Yep, all right. Cheers, mate. Well, that was that. This is me throwing it back to the anchors. Back to you, Mildred, and might I say, your smile is just infectious. I, I can't stop smiling. I, I just can't. <laughs> back to you. Thanks, Cody. God, he's gorgeous. <laughs> and to think I'm stuck with you. There's no need to get nasty, Mildred. Mm, thin ice, bud. <laughs> We'll be right back with more hello, hi, and good morning, right after these messages. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Light, fresh, elegant. 
they can. The only Buron will ever need be the man of your dreams. Smell like the man of her dreams. Who they perform. Smell like the city that never sleeps. That isn't New York. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. All right. Uh, hello, hi, and good morning, and uh, welcome. We are here at the airport, at Melbourne Airport. Uh, we're ready for an exclusive interview with the Albanian Minister of Exports, Mr. Stefan Dibra. All right, this is a very, very important and lucrative deal. It's imperative that both sides of the uh, of the governments uh, of both Albania and Australia are making... Uh, that's him, that's him. Come on, let's go catch up with him. Mr. Dibra! Mr. Dibra, keeping up, good. Mr. Dibra, hello, hi. Hello, hi, and good morning, Mr. Dibra. How are you? This is a little present for you. Welcome to Melbourne. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my pleasure, Mr. <laughs> Dibra. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, I'm exhausted, so I must oh. go from here. Of course, uh, well, wait, uh, just quickly, we just wanted to ask you a few questions. Uh, so, so you've come here to meet with the Albanese yes, government. Yes. You're an uh, Albanese representative. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's that's me. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Uh, so, come to the airport. Uh, very strong economy, number one, two, three in 2020. Very good number. Yes, yes. It's uh, it's because we switched our main export from crude oil to perhaps leather shoes could be uh, our economic benefit, uh, so we can move away from coal exports. Just need so, an so. autograph down here, and then we uh. can. We're on to the festival. An autograph for the Albanian Minister of Export. <laughs> so I just keep up sometimes. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's... <laughs> Look at that. Well, uh, wow. Well, Mr. Debra, thank you so much for meeting with us. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming along. Wow. Well, wasn't that just... Uh... Wasn't that incredible? Well, thank you so much. Uh, well, I'm glad we got to catch up with uh, with such an important person. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little flustered. That's what a meeting. Uh, we'll, we'll cut back to you in the studio. <laughs> I uh, I think Dum Dum may have made a few mistakes there. Maybe one or two or three. <laughs> Only time will tell, I guess. Well, I think there may be a few phone calls and people to apologise to after the show. <laughs> but before we get into any of that. Let's get your finances in check. Welcome to the finance corner. <laughs> Thank you, Harrison. Moneybags Mason here again to give you some updates on finance. Tesla stocks have plummeted by over 65% after a recent incident where a mother accidentally hit her own child with one of the car's models. Elon Musk took to Twitter to defend his company by tweeting, It wasn't a malfunction with the car self-driving. She just wanted to hit him. NFTs, are they still a worthy investment? Look, it's no secret that these digital art forms have been hugely popular as of recent times. Over $3 billion has been spent with NFTs in the last two years. An absurd amount of money for something that I just download off the internet for free, just as easy. Oh, and the crypto market has crashed once again. However, Munchcoin still seems to be holding steady at the top of the table. We asked one of the Munchcoin's top investors about why he hasn't sold yet, and he just responded with, ooh, shiny coins. I think they're pretty. The great British pound still seems to be increasing in the currency market, doubling its value. A McDonald's cheeseburger in England is gonna cost you 14 bucks. However, a pint of Stella and a roast dinner will only cost you 10. Mate, what are we investing in here? We're going to cross live to our reporter in the field, Garrison. Gary, Gaza, how's it hanging, ugly? Didn't need to say that one, Harrison. <laughs> uh, I'm out here on the football field with uh, a little legend right next to me. People have been calling him the next Michael Jordan of Auskick. <laughs> so uh, I've just got a question to ask you, buddy. Do you like playing football? Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. And uh, what exactly is it about football that you like playing? Uh, kick goals and bump people. Kicking goals and bumping people. Wonderful. That's great, little buddy. Now, uh, do you have a workout regime that you like to follow? No, but mummy feeds me special chicken. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we're, uh, I've also got to ask you, uh, do you like to do any exercise or warm-ups before you uh, get out on the football field? No, I just eat more chicken. Just eat more chicken. So yeah. you're just naturally good at the game. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I've got one more question to ask you, buddy. One more question. Yeah. And that is, if you could pick any football team to play for, what team would it be? Um, probably, you know, Autobots roll out. Autobots. So, you, so you'd... Right. So not... Not St Kilda or or uh, the Who? Sydney Giants or anything. Not just what? 
Nope, just want to play for the Transformers. Yeah. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for that, buddy. Thank you. Ah, that's a tight grip. All right, I'll let you go off to oh. your parents now, bud. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, what an interview. And to think he's so young. I'm glad he was able to get through that interview without spitting all over himself or filling his dax. And the kid was great too. How's it hanging out there, Gaz? You know what? Uh, it certainly would be easier if I weren't being shouted at every two seconds by some washed up has-been show anchor. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe there wouldn't be so much yelling if the In The Field reporter would do a story worth listening to. <laughs> Top-notch stuff out there, Gazza. You do this every time, right? Easter, Mother's oh, Day, Christmas, whining. you couldn't leave the beef for just stop one whining. day, could you? Oh yeah, coming from the guy with a fake name. Oh, here we go again from Mr. Perfect. Oh, look at me. I was captain of the swim team. Come I'm Harrison it. and I was head prefect. Come off it. No, no, no. Go on, Harrison. Tell all your fans about how amazing you are, you bloated suit. Yeah, well, at least mum loves me. Oh yeah, surprisingly, given the umbrella incident. Yeah, real mature baby bro. I'm 11 minutes younger. It's negligible at that point. Oh, huge point scored there. How's your screenplay coming along, huh? Yeah, well, at least I'm passionate about something and trying to do something with my life. Yeah, working out real great for you, aren't you? Chasing your passions, having you know fun with yourself, huh? I'm done with you. <laughs> you know what? Right, I have to have share a family Christmas. tree with you. You can you. have you can have Mother's Day because when I'm done with you, right? Oh, you any family siblings? gathering that you're there, say, I'm yeah, not. Because everyone Garrison. loves Harrison what and Harrison? everyone wants Garrison. to talk to Harrison, but no one wants to talk to Garrison because his name starts with a G. What kind of a name is Garrison? It's a made-up name anyways. Oh, look at Harrison. He's got all the badges on his place. Look at Harrison. He's perfect. He's so good looking. Oh, what? Why don't we invite Harrison over for dinner? Garrison, who is that? Not me, because I'm not going to be there anymore, society. okay? You, you can have your fun, all right? Anymore. You can you have your fun with the family, because I'm not going to be there anymore. You've had everything handed to you on a silver platter, and what am I? I'm just some in the field reporter. Get him off the camera. I don't want to see him anymore. He's done. Thank you very much. Bye, bud. See you for Dad's birthday. Well, that was Garrison. Our reporter in the field and on hand crybaby. <laughs> We're gonna go to a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We've still got a jam packed morning for you yet to come. Right after these messages. <laughs> for the record, I think he's better looking than you. You don't have to say that every time, okay? <laughs> we'll be right back with more hello, hi, and good morning right after this. Stay tuned! Ooh! My chips have run out. Has your extended warranty done the same? Don't let your expired extended warranty leave you feeling helpless. With our extended warranty program, you can feel at ease knowing your devices are covered when your chips are down. Better warranty, the warranty for you. Alrighty, we are here at Swordcraft in Melbourne in the northern suburbs. Uh, it is a mystical land, I've got to say. Uh, I've never seen anything like this, so I'm going to try and get kitted up. I've been given some things over here. And then uh, the wonderful people here at the wall band that we're touring with, they've uh, offered me some chain mail as well. So uh, this thing weighs about seven kilos. Sometimes I wonder why we don't send Matilda out on these little field expeditions. Somehow always me, isn't it? I'm starting to suspect that someone on the prod team doesn't like me. <laughs> I won't say I'm paralyzed by fear, but uh, there's not a whole lot going through this noggin of mine. All I know is that I'm wearing uh, more than what I can carry on a plane uh, in terms of weight, and uh, I, I, I've lost a lot of circulation in most of my extremities. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Now, growing up as a kid, you know, I was always the one who would grab sticks and swing them around. So I'm hoping that after all these years, some of these skills will translate into combat ability. Uh, I guess there's only one way to find out. So uh, let's uh, let's get into it. I got one. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you do? The so captain of the warband ran out. us through some of the Make basics, sure so I wouldn't be completely hopeless in battle. This, of course, Don't included try. their war cry. Golden glory. <laughs> I also managed to squeeze in a quick history lesson. As the as the symbol says, that's that's what we worship. Gold. Producers did not tell me there would be PT. Go across your legs. Ah. It took me a little while to get the hang of things, and my nerves certainly weren't helping. But eventually, 
I started to feel like I was at one with the team. I, I'm, um, uh, yeah, I'm I good. started getting the hang of combat basics. And before I knew it, it was time for battle. The battlefield was set. The 13th Free Company had our orders. And it was time to march forth. The enemy team had brought a tank onto the field, and my jocks were sufficiently filled. However, I mustered all my courage and followed my fellow soldiers as we plunged into the depths of battle. Bunch of shirtless people. So if I did that, ratings would plummet. Uh, Declan thinks I'm doing pretty well, right? Is that a... Uh... Oh, absolutely. You're exactly what I'd expect from someone who's new. Great. You have zero footwork. You need a lot of work remembering that your shield is something to be used to defend yourself and not a gate to point towards where your chest is. Your sword is going in roughly the right direction, though honestly I think it's more used as a ramp for other people to hit you with. Obviously, you really, really like long sticks because they seem to really like you. If you wouldn't mind repeating commands, then maybe you might remember where the rest of us are. So overall, pretty good. Exactly what I'd expect. Dude, what's our battle cry? Uh, I want to say blood and gory. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. Okay, he really went for it. What is your battle cry? Go back, boy! Was, Much better. I got half of it right. I'm not saying this is the case, but it feels like I'm dragging everyone down at this point. So I've got to refocus myself, recenter. And I gotta get in there with the bloodthirsty attitude. Harrison here, first night, has made a bold request. He has requested that he wants to command you guys. Ah. Thank you, hello, hi, and good morning, producers. I was given my own command and found myself leading the warband into battle. Whether by pure luck or by some totally untapped skill set of mine, I managed to lead the 13th Free Company to our only victory for the night. But at the end of the day, I had a lot of fun. So I think I'm one of the biggest winners on the field tonight. This was a, this was a great time. I had a really fun time tonight. And uh, 13th Free Company took me in under their wing. They made sure that I was comfortable. They made sure that I was taken care of. I even got to be in charge a little bit as well. Thank you so much for joining us this morning with hello, hi, and good morning. Unfortunately, that's all the time we've got this morning. However, be sure to join us next week. To close us out, we've got Evade with their latest single, Roll the Dice. So see ya, farewell, and goodbye. It's a clear to see These heat waves keep you appealing to me Bare skin, sun kissed down by the water Your eyes like mine Got to, got to, got to roll the dice Got to roll the dice Got to, got to roll the